What's up guys, John coming to you from Greenwich Village in New York City, my home neighborhood. And if you've been watching my channel, you've probably seen my Finding an Apartment in New York City series. Let me tell you, it was not easy. Well today, seven months after I made my original tiny apartment video, I'm gonna show you part two where I turn my tiny two bedroom apartment into an equally tiny one bedroom apartment. Stay tuned till the end and I'm gonna tell you exactly how much we're paying. We just walked into the lobby of my building and nothing has changed on that front. Still no elevator after seven months and I don't think there's ever going to be an elevator. I live on the fourth floor and a lot of people that live in New York City understand the plight of having to go up and down the stairs all the time, but it, it does keep you in shape. That's the benefit. All right, we have made it to my apartment. Welcome home. We're gonna start with the bathroom. And it's not a very big bathroom, as this apartment is only 350 square feet to begin with, so nothing in this apartment's that big. So we changed the shower curtain here, new rug, and this is my personal favorite right here. So for you uh, male viewers out there, when you're standing around doing something, you can just stare and kind of learn a little bit more about the neighborhoods of New York City. We completely decluttered this bathroom. Just got this from Trader Joe's, very cool cactus. Still gotta fill this bookcase up at some point. Now I'm gonna show you all one of the big changes that's occurred in this apartment. It's what used to be my brother's room. If you saw the last video, my friend Mike was actually staying over. The room was kind of a disaster. It was a small bedroom. I always found it kind of cluttered completely different now. So I'm excited to show you this. And I'm gonna let Adriana take over as the tour guide. All right, Adriana. Okay, I'm gonna show you this room. It was basically a disaster. The walls were so dirty, so we painted them. And I don't know if you remember the video when we were to Ikea and we got this. Okay, this feels really good. This is like nice and soft. It's a perfect couch. We couldn't get anything bigger because the room is not so big, but I think it's perfect for, you, for John. And also, um, we were thinking about a big TV, but as you can see, the distance is a little bit short. So we decided that this one was much better for our eyes. And these beautiful tables on Amazon. I think John really, he's really gonna enjoy this room. What about the uh, plants over there? We almost forgot them. Oh, or babies. <laughs> we don't have pets, we don't have kids, we have plants. We have plants. So here you have. <laughs> we got them uh, a few days ago and I think they are the perfect touch for the room. What do you think, guys? When you have a room that's extremely small, light colors are key, mirror right there. It's like our little living room slash TV room. It's just nice to have an extra space to escape to when you're, you're stuck in a small apartment all day. This means everything, trust me. Now we're moving down the hallway to the kitchen area. And this is Team Adriana's desk right here. She is a very talented artist. So she has a lot of her work all over. This is a little corner desk, which fits perfectly in a tiny space. It even has this drawer right here. Got the white chair to match. Octubre. I think you guys can figure out what month that is in Spanish. This is one of my favorite pieces of the entire apartment, the mirror right here. A mirror can make a small space look a lot better. And maybe my favorite new thing about the apartment is this table. We just added it with these two new chairs. Square shape, but we can pull it out if need be. We've got fruits here. We bought this as well to put the coffee maker. I like this corner. I feel like we're utilizing the space quite well. We completely decluttered the shelves, as you can see. Not a whole lot going on. And then Adriana literally created this piece just for the apartment. Take a look. Check out my refrigerator, by the way. This is one of my favorite little touches here. I've got money from just about every country I've ever visited. We line them all up. 
Guys, I have no idea where this Saudi Arabian note came from. I'm not sure. I've never been to Saudi Arabia. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Maybe my twin brother put it here, weird. We're about to walk into my bedroom and I really haven't changed that much in here. This is the one room that I, I would like to do some things to. If you guys have any suggestions on how to decorate a tiny bedroom, I'm curious. I've been lazy, I admit it. This right here is my work area. I showed this in the last video I made. My YouTube channel's right there, I'm always on it. Desk, printer, little closet with the dresser stuff here. Full-size bed, could have gotten a queen, but we went with a full here, just, I didn't want to take up so much space. Mirror right there. Pumpkin's a nice touch. During Halloween, it matches the Eckhart Tolle's New Earth, my favorite book ever. Beautiful view of, not much. In New York City, a lot of people don't have views. If you watch my series on apartments, I thought, we had a bad view. I saw a ton of apartments in Greenwich Village and Soho which had worse views where it was like darkness and shadow right up against the window. So in retrospect, this is not that bad. This is also quite clutch up here. This extra shelf space, very nice. Let's go to the roof and talk about pricing. The best part of any New York City apartment, the rooftop. This is where I come just to meditate. You're, you're above everything. City feels a lot smaller from up here. So now the golden question, how much do I pay to live in the heart of Greenwich Village? A lot of money, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. $2,700 a month. People that live in this area, we're, we're paying for location. We're paying for conveniences to be near everything that Greenwich Village and downtown Manhattan has to offer, but I'm curious, tell me in the comments, would you pay that much money for an apartment? Why or why not? Considering that it is in one of the best neighborhoods in all of New York City. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I've got a ton of New York City tips videos and vlogs coming up over the next couple of months. It's gonna get more and more interesting, I promise you that. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.